Hold on a sec. I think I'm missing a secret exit somewhere, because I know that pipe we saw to the left is supposed to be like, uh, like a world warp or something, but I don't know where you get that. So we might have to look- we might have to go back for that. We need to get the castle- it's the cannon, right? Well, we need- I- I want to be able to get all the secret exits. We'll continue for now, but we'll- I'll I'll look into that later. Okay. Is this where we get the penguin suit? Yep. Yes. The pingu suit. See, this is just. This is like just this. a better. I like this power up. Yeah, this is a cool power up. Oh god. It's not bad. Um, it's basically a better frog suit. It's a better. A better. It's a better frog suit and ice flower. It's it's a uh, the frog and ice uh power ups mixed in with a, a cool little slide, and uh, you don't. Uh, slip on ice, so it's basically just. <laughs> it's also the blue stone, I agree, I guess. In some ways, yeah. It, it, it's, that is. it's basically a blue shell if you had control, more control over it. Probably one of the better 2D power ups I can think about, actually. I think it might be actually be one of my one of my favorite uh, power ups, or like. Versatile, it, almost. Yeah, it's really versatile without feeling broken like the cape. You slander my favorite power up. <laughs> I mean, I like it too, but it is broken. Everybody loves the cape because it's broken. Yeah. I mean, I mean, how many levels did we just skip over in, in when we were playing Mario in Mario World Perry? Yeah, it's literally possible to just skip entire levels with that thing. It's hilarious. <laughs> I remember there was that one level in, I think it was, was it, in Star, it was a level in Star World where we just completely skipped over it. Yeah. Because it, it, it was the one, it was, I don't know. It, it was because of the, uh, it was because it was like, it was like, it was, oh yeah, it was that one way with the buzz saws and like the buzzies and all that, it was really annoying. Oh yeah. This is a, oh I know what you're talking about. This is forever normally, so I'm like, screw this. Uh, that's a nice, like, cool little star coin challenge, by the way. I think the my favorite use. Oh god. My favorite use usage of the two uh, D style powerups is uh, probably when they design the stages in a way where if you have the power up, you can you can get to a alternate path with like one ups and stuff. Um, like Mario Three does that quite a bit. Um, like when when they do that stuff, kind of stuff with the power ups, I I like I like I do enjoy that quite a lot, and I I think they do that with three D world as well. Where like if you have Cat Mario, you can like go to different areas and stuff. I don't know why. Okay, I got the downgrade. I don't know why I got that. To be honest. Penguin, Penguin Mario's only real downside is that he's a bit slower on land, but not as bad as a frog suit. I suppose he oh, is. Oh, frog suit's horrible on land. It's just like this. Yeah. Bleh, bleh. I like never used a frog suit because <laughs> I never remember what the like after like. What, world 3, I never remember what levels have water in them, so I just never know when to use it. I guess you can just use it as an additional mushroom or something. Yeah. I mean, even if it's only for a few seconds, it'd be really small. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh crap! It was going to be a frog. Leave it! <laughs> how cheery the world free music is oh yeah interesting thing um uh i think in one of the olympic games they actually remixed the snow theme from this game which is an interesting choice it's not the snow theme specifically yeah it's like it's a slight huh. variation of the main of like the uh gra the ground theme Hmm. Which is, I mean, it will. 
not re wouldn't really be my choice to remix this, but sure. Sure. <laughs> Yay! Time to play murder. <laughs> oh my god. I will soak in your blood. Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> Or has it? This is or has the superstars what Mario f feels like when he licks Rainbow Road. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I can be in character. <sighs> I'm fucking saying after the Wulu thing, so. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, boy. I did it. I'm no richer than I was before, but I did it. <laughs> I mean, like, Mario gets, like, a castle in, like, Mario Land 2, so... Oh, I sold it! <laughs> yeah, it just happens in one game. Mario takes it over. Nice yeah. I got the nice house of the suburbs. Haven't you seen, haven't you seen a Superstar Saga? Yeah. I, I know the idea is that Wario probably put in all those traps and stuff, but I like to imagine that that was Mario himself. So, <laughs> he's just like, oh, I'm bored. I'm just gonna jump over these... Like, oh, what, what are you talking about? I didn't do any of that. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like to imagine like Mario just enjoys going through like death traps and crap. I didn't think I got this good. <laughs> yeah. Fighting death traps all his life. He's never known a time when he wasn't. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, the fact yeah, that. Yeah, you're right. I can't even. That. I mean, have you played Mario 2? I was literally just about to mention that. <laughs> have they added... Uh, I, I haven't played Mario Maker 2 in, like, ages. Um, have they added a, um update where they put in, like, uh, walls you can just go through for secrets? Fucking okay, vinyl! Because, uh... I don't believe that was a thing in Mario Breaker 2 I don't play that <laughs> I only I have one. I hope this is annoying. <laughs> we should probably tone this down a little bit. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried we only have one star coin. Whee! Ah! Tell me, do you like penguins? I like- I love the penguins. Oh! Good. And you are- and you, and you are a reasonable human being. <laughs> me and my brother, uh, like, in the- in, like, Beach Ball and Galaxy, like, that, uh, that, uh, music. Me and my brother always used to call it the penguin theme. <laughs> Everybody do the penguin song! <laughs> <laughs> I suppose grow back. Uh, I don't know if they do. On a new cave, apparently. They were literally growing, or refreezing in the main parts, main route of the level. Mm. Off screen. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're growing back. I think the last one should be like. Okay, it's not this, but it's like past some. Uh... Oh, oh, I know an ice level I hate. That one temple in Link, a Link to the Past. Oh, the Ice Palace? I can oh, understand oh, oh, that. Ice Palace, yeah, I can understand that. How long were you guys there? Were you guys there for a while in the playthrough? I don't remember. Oh, wait a minute, I remember this star coin now. Yeah, it's time to come back to me. Um, I didn't want to throw that. Not fun. <laughs> 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 I 
Okay, uh, yeah, I'm supposed to get- oh, yeah, I'm supposed to use the barrel. There's probably some way I can cheese that, but I prefer not to die. God, <laughs> dude, <laughs> What are you doing? Glazing Mario's screams. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. I was worried it was gonna break the wall. Yeah, yeah, second player to be the dummy, you could have avoided that. Can you just insert a second player mid-game? Mid-game? I don't know. Mid-game? Yeah, mid-game. Hmm. I know I can add them like in the world map, but one up challenge. Oh, yeah, here, remember you have like a bunch of super mushrooms you can use anytime. That's true. I'm always the night I'm always hesitant to use uh, Paris because I know like usually at the start of the level there's usually something there. But okay, let's see. Um. I had, I I like the second cannon from the left. Yeah. I'm far up in the aim. Okay. Well, goodbye, sixty-nine. Ah. Uh. Hello, seventy-one. Yeah. What? Yeah, we're not hey, maybe we should spend the star coins. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Out of the way! Fun times. Alright. I'm, I'm going to the store to buy an Xbox One for Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, I'm, well, I'm adding some more entertainment to this paper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need more shrooms! I'm, try I'm trying to go cold turkey. <laughs> I think that's always gonna be your reward for those uh, yes. things. Oh, yeah. Boys. Yeah. Okay. Is this our first ghost house? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Turning so after a very long absence in 2D Mario games. Ooh, it's so spooky. Well, I mean, they were in the DS one, but if we're talking about like. Home console, then you. Yeah. Oh, crap. Ah. Alright, just making sure. Mario DS? Huh? You're in New Super Mario Bros. 1? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I was like, play that game. Yeah. I enjoy these stages for being a change of pace. Mushroom, by the way. Sassy Mario. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't remember these stages too well, so there's probably probably going to be a lot of fumbling around in the dark. God damn it! I hit that level. Yeah. I remember that was the level where, on my initial run, I I somehow missed the box gem by one. Huh. Okay, what am I- I don't remember this. Like, what? I, maybe if, if it gets still above this boo over here, if, otherwise that boo wouldn't be in that wall. Well, there's no, like, way up there. What am I missing? There has- there's a hidden wall somewhere. Well, I tried hugging this one, I just died, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is there is a secret exit in this too. I think every ghost house in this game has a secret exit. Um, I know most of them in Mario World had one too. It was just like a couple exceptions. So just like hug every wall. What is that secret area? Yeah. <laughs> Arbor poles in this ghost house. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yes. 
Oh my god. Okay, there's definitely something in that one. <laughs> there's usually context clues, at least. You know, I'm already being an asshole, that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look above! Nope. How do you guys feel about- uh, I, have we talked about star coins? I feel like we- We have. Oh, the other guy talked about it. Okay, so, uh... Um, I don't mind them, and they're like, mean incentives to look around for. Yeah, I always- I, I- Yeah, I, uh, I think I mentioned this in DS, but, um... Well, I like them in, in the sense that, um, they- they can separate the casual crowd to, uh, from the hardcore audience. I didn't think I was actually going to get hit, to be honest. Um, in of course, the... I lose my power after my, I kick you on my foot. <laughs> yeah. But I like them in the sense that, like, if ca casual players can just ignore them and have a normal playthrough, and the more hardcore players can explore a bit more and have some more uh, challenging errors, and like, get get more out of the game, and I like that. Okay, is this? Yeah, that's fake. Part of me feels, I was gonna say, part of me feels like this is the normal exit. Yeah. I don't remember where it is. Oh, I remember where the secret exit is, but... You remember where the start coin is, though? Um, not the... No, at the moment, no. I'm gonna hope it's just in these paths. You should be here for the while. Ah! Who's that trapping want... me in the mansion? Oh, I can't. No! Another practice. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, there was a secret thing. I, I think I. I think it was just coins. Sure. Um, I'm gonna hope. Basically, we messed up. I mean, we still have the secret exit to go through, so it's not... Hope is not lost yet. How long do you plan on keeping this up? Until uh, I get bored. <laughs> what did my mom yell? Okay, now let's, let's just speed run, I guess. Tass, tass! Tass, 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 tass. Ooh, <laughs> speed running so fun. Oh, I love this. I forget uh, where I found this, but it, there was this, like, comment. There was, like, a post on Twitter or something where it's like, Batman Tass, what it means, Batman the Animated Series, what I think it means, Batman Tool Assisted Speedrun. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, so, so I, so I, I, in my head, I just imagine Batman, like, like trying to, like, do a, a infinite, or like, do the. He's like, he's like trying to clip through the wall or something. Yeah, so he, he like, uh, does a long jump, uh, Mario 64 style long jump to like glitch, to like glitch through a wall and skip his parents. Oh my god, his parents' death cut scene. Oh my god, it's so bad. Okay, please be in this room. I love messing with the booze. Nah. Booze are like the curious ghost server. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, I was worried you guys Wait, were. No. I was worried you guys uh, were like not here for a second. I had to. I had to watch what I say. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, that's where it's been this whole time. I'll say um, just in by oh, na yeah, just by <laughs> yeah. Grab it. Ah, I thought that was another stir. Um, by nature of the, uh, console limitations, uh, 
Booze can be kind of terrifying in 64, I suppose. But I mean... I guess it's because of the dates. Yeah. I mean, to be fair... Is it someone dead? <laughs> to be fair, like, uh, a lot of enemies in 64 are more scary than they should be just because of the graphics. How about that piano? Yeah. I haven't had any tonight. Hmm. <laughs> I haven't had any tonight. I'm not lying. No, I didn't. I will. Oh boy, it's a room house. Forgive, forgive me if I... Um, this is another thing I've already talked about, but... Um, I do like how in these in Mario games, pretty much in general, barring sunshine, I guess, uh, they usually give the player um, a lot of wiggle room to like, and to let them play whatever stage they want to do. Um, so if you're tr struggling with one stage, you usually have a few other options, which I do appreciate. And don't mess up. Well, that was that was probably our that was our, that yeah that was our worst run yet. <laughs> Is Scrappy still around? Died in the ghost house. Oh. <laughs> this is... I killed him! Is this Lemmy? Lemmy. Okay. That's not... Yes, yeah, it's Lemmy. Okay. It's Lemmy. Okay, I remember... I kind of <laughs> remember this stage. The Tetris stage. Yeah. I did, Mom. One thing I do like about uh, these games is that they do, once you get into them, they do have a specific, like, they do have a really s fluid sense of flow that kind of makes them really fun to just kind of blaze through. Once you start, you just can't stop. I'm not, no I'm not annoying you with this, am I? <laughs> I mean... I'm, I'm assuming not because you're laughing. I mean, it's interesting. Don't get squashed! Alright. I guess the slow-moving elevator of doom. Yes. And these uh. things... Are, what are they called? Amps? Yeah, I think so. I think... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, move fast already! <laughs> I feel like they get used in Mario Party more than they do in the actual platformers. I remember them... What's wrong? I remember them being in a Mario Party 6 minigame. Uh. I, I, I think I know it's the one you're talking about. It's like the one where they're like they're in a very closed up circuit or something. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a, a... everyone's in a closed up circuit area and you have to like rush to the goal. Yeah. You have to make a lap around. I think. Yeah. It's a really fun mini game. I know. I know that. I, I know what that mini game is called too, but I can't think of it. I have a feeling I'm, go I'm gonna need to save this. So I'm not gonna use it for the time being. Always be sp suspicious with these uh, slow moving platform sections because there's usually something at the oh end. Oh my god! So much bone! <laughs> no! 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 That, that, okay, that might have been bad. Um... Well. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the, <laughs> the edited Mario 64 close where it was like, Mama! Mm, uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, go. Uh, go, 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 go. Okay, I think this is fine. All right. Mm. Mother. <laughs> yeah. 
No, no, no. My favorite one is my favorite version. Of, my, my favorite version of that is see you next time. Er. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. Right. <laughs> oh man. I usually see those in like new brand videos. Yeah. Company for Voodoo. I forget which one it was, but I forget yeah. it was. I think it was like a, the bit was like the Toad House was like gam was like a, it was like an illegal gambling place, and Mario and Toad both got locked up. <laughs> nice. Remember that. That was Edge Lord era of Newgrounds. Yeah. Uh, that was that's like way in the early days. Back when probably around an era of like what brawl taunts. Oh, I remember those days. I'm not sure if I want to say this for sure, but I kind of part of me kind of wants to say this is my favorite theme in the game. It's not a bad theme. It's a really good remix. <laughs> The fourth, the fourth fight? Yeah, the, the fortress fight. Uh, I, I like it more than the castle theme. Fair. Fair. What's fair? <laughs> okay, this is uh, really interesting, because remember the uh, Switch Palaces for Mario World? This is the only time in the game where they do something like that. And I'm not going to do that because I don't care. <laughs> Um, I think I left the oven running. Bye bye. <coughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. There's actually a second part to the world. So yeah, we can't just beat this level and go to the castle. Like we need to take a uh, take a uh, side path uh, to uh, hit the red switch. And uh, oh, I don't this one. yeah, this is actually a really cool part of the game. Like you have to. You replay this level with the with the red switch activated, so you can go on these red platforms, which is what what these outlines are supposed to be. I forget if we're heading to the alternate exit first, actually. I think we might be, but um. Gosh. Man, this place keeps changing every single time I come through ah. here. Yeah, remember those fire bros, because they're gonna be the bane of my existence. Man, I remember back, man, I remember back when, when Ice was World 6. <laughs> yeah. Or was it World 5 in Mario 3? I forget. I don't know. I only remember- okay. Uh, I only remember uh, like the North first like North four North worlds North in that game. Mushroom, Desert, um, Water, Giant. I think it was an I think it was an ice sky pipe dark. Sounds about right. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> the Mario oh, the Mario scream. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Can't believe we're always at 99 you know lives. You no, know I'm just gonna keep this up. For the you know I'm just gonna keep this up for the rest of the session. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the. Okay, no. Ah! Well, that, that's now you know where we need to go for the second run. I fucking died. Indeed, indeed, you did, Mario. <laughs> I've hijacked this boy's brain. <laughs> no. You all become Mario soon enough. Oh wow! What the hell? <laughs> ah! Oh no! Eep! Oh. Beep beep on the sheep. Oh! I stubbed my toe. Oh, will we see the super guy used in this Let's Play? Let's find out. Oh, please don't. No. I, I'm gonna try my best not to have it show up because if you, if you do a full run of the game without it, the stars have like sparkles on them, I think. It doesn't mean anything, but... That is a participation trophy, basically. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything, <laughs> it's just like... Oh cool, I got shiny. Oh, no! Okay, I'm, I'm just... God damn it! I'm making dumb mistakes now. Oh, you wouldn't fall down the pit, wait, Mario did. 
I think you have to die eight times for it to show up. Take that, Donkey Kong. What was it, like five times for him? I have no idea. I... Now, don't die this time. Okay. Mario's life is in your hands. No, I'm not using that. Okay. Get you... the fuck out of here, fire bro. Yeah, you sir can screw off. <laughs> Why does fire bro just sound like a... That just sounds like some kind of Twitter name. <laughs> fire bro. That would be basically. <laughs> the... I did it. And now we go for... And now we go for Wendy's. Uh, these... I'm just be like, my I'm tweet... My tweet... Fries, actually. My tweets are fire, bruv. Oh my god. Bruh. Bruh. Ah! I thought I was gonna slide now! Ah! Okay. okay. Oh yeah, it is the alternate exit first. That moment this when... Way. That moment when ice physics don't... Uh, happen the way you think they're going to. What you don't know is that... About them, is that they're actually super sticky. Yeah. So, so it's I'm like, just fighting him back. I'm just fighting him. I'm just fighting him back so hard. I'm sliding all over the place. So, I'd be like, uh, the getting a grip is getting a grip is not easy. Okay. So it'd be like the bee high levels in uh, DKC two where you stick on the honey. Yeah, only I don't eat it. I do like the animation of. Pasta, so I don't care. <laughs> I do like the animation of Dixie eating the honey. I think Diddy just tries to get out of it. Yeah. I need to replay that game. Yeah, What's I recently Mario game. <laughs> I I recently played through DKC one again, so maybe I, sh I, I I I I um started playing DKC two at one point and I just kind of stopped. <laughs> Well, fuck you too, Bowser. Uh, here's uh, here's hoping the tr DKC trilogy r uh, comes out on the SNES Online soon. Well, I, I say soon, but they're, they're trickling those games out really slowly. I wouldn't mind doing it. Actually, that, actually, I wouldn't mind doing that either because the, it, we we can we can actually play online co-op again. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, on oh. co-op is competitive. How does, uh, yeah, how does... Huh? Of all the old NES games we can fail out together now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, how, how does DKC <laughs> multiplayer work? Tag team. Um, um, tag team. One play, um, player one is Donkey Kong. In the case of DKC1, player one is Donkey Kong, player two is Diddy Kong. Look. And it switches and, depending uh, on who's... It, like it's you, it's like Donkey Kong gets hit, then Diddy Kong player starts. Then yeah, but what hap what happens is if you're once the Kong once it gets hit, the game in the game will pause still while while it's a, and while and the kid will flash saying like, "Hey, hit the button so you're in so everything so you can get ready." Okay, that makes sense. So 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 yeah um, and and you both have to hit the switch button if you want to tag out. I think. Okay. I don't know about two and three. I never played two and three co-op before. All right, I'm assuming it's the same deal, more or less. So we're gonna have to play this stage again. Actually, in, actually, in that case, um, if we do, who would you want to be for Donkey Kong Country One? Would you rather be Diddy Don Kong? Diddy Kong. Diddy. Diddy. Okay. Uh. Okay. One stop point. What about DKC Two? Uh, Diddy for that as well. For free, probably. <laughs> Actually, probably kidding. Well, okay, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I think one of us should do Dixie for two and the other for three. Oh, well, I, I'm, I, I, I like playing playing as Diddy and Kitty more in just a sense that I think they just have a better flow to them, and I like their roles more. Oh right, you don't like the spin and all that. It doesn't feel reliable to me. I'll do. Okay, then um, 
you want me to, if you want me to stick with Dixie in both games? Because I'm fine with that. I I I I'm. I've noticed that in a lot of platformers, I don't tend to enjoy the flying characters as much. Mm. Thankfully, uh, in um, Tropical Freeze, Dixie spins just like like everybody else. Dixie is more. Dixie is a double jump, basically. And ma and breaks the game. <laughs> yeah. It's like my kind of character. <laughs> well, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say breaks it, like that, that's Funky Kong's job, but... But, but, but that double jump is significantly more useful than what the other two got. Yeah. Cranky is specifically built for speedrunning. Which and is... for thing Everywhere. Bounce. I do think... Remember when Nintendo revealed Cranky Kong at the VGX? Oh my god, that was... <laughs> oh god. Wait, what? Okay, so, um, yeah, VGX happened. Uh, was it like, what was it, like, a video game? 2013, no. Yeah. It was 2013, the last year when they held it on Spike TV properly, instead of Jeff Keighley just doing it on his own. Right. So, long story short, Video Game Awards became VGX, then Keighley does his own thing as just the Game Awards. Yeah. So, so how are cranking? That was Nintendo's primary reveal for the awards show that year. Yeah, it was People like... assume Metroid because random reasons, and they did not get Metroid. Yeah, I remember hearing like... Would, the... they, would they even show up? They even show up? <laughs> yeah, basically, basically what happened is like, there were a bunch of room rumors that uh, were like, um, apparently N Nintendo are just gonna show up and just show Cranky Kong in Tropical Freeze. So Reggie showed up, it's like, oh, we got this cool announcement. It's Cranky Kong, <laughs> and it's like, okay, <laughs> and it's like, is that all you're <laughs> literally cranky? And, and it's like, and then it's just like, is that all you're gonna? Is that all you're showing, Reggie? Yes. And that's literally it. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> it's like that's the most underwhelming announcement ever. Well, we're joking that it was one of the better announcements for that award show, though. I mean, Reggie was paid five hundred five hundred thousand just for that. Yes, I mean, I like. Cran I mean, I mean, there were more funny ways to get paycheck. I mean, Cranky Kong being playable. I think is that. What is he? Like, well, I mean, I'm trying to think because like, is he in playable in other games or? Girl Blast. Okay. He's not. Yeah, he's not. Even, he's not. He's not even playable in this. In the. In the Mario Super Sluggers. Hmm. But um. Yeah. Yeah, you can play. Yeah, 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 they brought back Tiny Kong. Yeah, in the weird, uh, like sexualized version of her. Also, Taylor's cruel. Yeah. Um. I've been Taylor's for a while at that point. I do, I do like that they added really? Cranky Kong as the like it's, it's like his first platformer appearance. Uh, unless there's like some really obscure game I'm not aware of, but. I mean, technically, I mean, we haven't even had Cranky Kong, like, as OG Donkey Kong playable in anything. I suppose. I want to see, I want to see Cranky Kong take, <laughs> take Pauline to the top of the, to the top of New Dog City. This is like old time's sake. I really, I want, I wanted Donkey, this is a bit of a side tension, but I really wanted Donkey Kong to show up. <laughs> it, like, I, I know, like, there's an 8-bit Donkey Kong thing and all that, but I wanted, like, actual DK to show up in Odyssey just as a quick cameo or something. I think that would have been really cool. You yeah, didn't do anything? Yeah, it, it was just a, ooh, hee-haw, just in the background, or just something. I think that would have been really nice. It blew the budget. Yeah. It, it's just, yeah. It, if that's one thing... Ugh. Yeah, we blew it all, Luigi! It's freaking balloons! <laughs> and I come to four playable Luigi. Um, but... Seriously, balloons are expensive. Just ask why. Yeah, if, if there's one thing I was a bit disappointed on about what Odyssey... What's the music change? I don't know. Well, we're... we're, we're yeah, we're underground. But, um... There's one thing I... Yeah, but this is the ground team. We were playing the athletic team a moment ago. Yeah, I... Mm. Yeah, I don't know, but um, <laughs> Odyssey. Uh, I'm an epic. I I do I do kind of wish that Odyssey, I, I, uh, included a 
more um, character, more like characters because when I saw Pauline, I was under the impression that they'd like add in other characters we don't usually see in regular Mario platformers like uh, Daisy uh, or like Wario Waluigi and stuff like that. The is steps area. Yeah, I guess. Um, like yeah, what? Luigi wasn't even in the game until an update a year from later. Yeah, that's true. Well, what would he have done? Uh, I don't know, but uh, Kong, I don't know. Just say hello. Be a uh, NPC in like a jungle level. Yeah, just One of the jungle level. Yeah, it's like just uh, they can I just sit there. Well, I mean, you can have the. If you're gonna bring these characters back, you can just do a similar thing they did to Pauline, where they they're just one of the main characters of a kingdom and like make them a central point of what's going on, I guess. Yeah, Nintendo EA, EPD in particular generally go, uh, excuse me. EPD generally operates under the assumption if you're not a boss character or ah. like a playable character, you don't exist in the Mario games. Yes. That's one thing that's always bummed me out about these games, that they have so many characters in this franchise, and they unfortunately leave a lot of them to just spin off, which is kind of a letdown. But... I'd be sad for Waluigi, but uh, he hasn't paid his rent. Oh, man. Listen, to be perfectly honest, I don't even know where Waluigi lives. He just kind of exists. Yeah, he just kind he of exists. He lives in a hotel. <laughs> he lives in a hotel. All right. I I, I believe that. <laughs> yeah, but... it was a, it was a, yeah. Unfortunately, the power keeps going out, and, but probably because of all the toasters. Oh my god. <laughs> Waluigi lives a sad life. Super Luigi yeah, Galaxy. Like, well. I had to keep reminding him there's a switch somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, uh, Remind me of a dick. <laughs> Where am I? Gay <laughs> uh, Luigi. Gay Luigi. I would love a Mario <laughs> platformer that had like. The, how to describe it, quote unquote, world building of an RPG. Oh, yeah. I, oh, speak. But even the RPGs don't even use the Mario Extended Cast that often. Like, mm. Waluigi could be actually something in an RPG, but they don't bother. Well, I mean, what? Mario could be a thing in those. Yeah. Uh, the, um, I have to, well. Luigi should be playable, playable at all in Super. Um, before I get into, like, Wario and Waluigi, um, I do. I do appreciate that in that the uh, the RPGs uh, tend tend on widening the scope of the of the of like different Mario species. Um, like they they usually a lot of them add in like new new uh, types of characters and stuff, which I do like. Um, I I you want, like new species of characters and all that. Huh. What, are you talking about, like, new races and such? Yeah, new races. Um, uh, and I do like the... I do like that they, they use Piantas quite a bit in the in the RPGs. Like, uh... I know they're pretty... Oh, uh, they're... They're used... They're used they're, 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 oh, I love it! They're, they're freaking mob... They're freaking, like, mafia in, in Thousand Year Door. Yeah, yeah. They got... Never get... They will never do that again. <laughs> yeah, they, they got a lot of mileage out. Oh, I want them to, it's hilarious. They, they, <laughs> they got a lot of mileage out, those guys in Fasten Your Door especially. Those are probably some some of my favorite... One well, of the very first things I saw when I came to Rogueport was two Piantas beating up two birds. <laughs> I loved it. The Piantas might actually be one of my favorite Mario species just because... I just, I just love how... I'm a I just love, love how expressive and bouncy they are and they just... The, the whole, like, palm tree kind of aesthetic they have going on is just really appealing to me. Um, Shut yeah, up, yeah. you annoying little brat! <laughs> but yeah, this is the, um... No, it wasn't sand. Um, yeah, Mario and Waluigi would be cool to see as, like, a rival team or something in Mario and Luigi. I have no idea what's happening with that series now, though, considering the cir current circumstances, but... 
Uh, I'm assuming Alpha Dreams people, at least some of them, will be funneled into other Nintendo teams. I would hope so. Cross but... your fingers. Ah! No! No! Oh my god! No! He bounced it! He bounced it! Ah! Wow. Killed by that ball scene in the opening of Blue's Clues. <laughs> oh, I love that show. Blue's Clues, yeah. Time to go to the thinking chair. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Mario Skadoochu! <laughs> oh wow. You need to tell how to do it, but we're not on crack. We promise. Huh? Can you tell how I have too much fun with this? Yeah. I miss. I'm sorry, there's yeah. something to know. I was thinking about um, that old fan series Super Mario Bros. Z. Mario Mulder is like the best part of that show, and I can see them functioning in an RPG like that. Mm, yeah. Um. One thing I, I will say. I always them as, as RPG rivals, like, yeah. like, a, like, like, a, like an enemy team in the Mario and Luigi, in the Mario Luigi game. Yeah, they, they, it feels like they just kind of, they're kind of built around something like that. To be honest, it'll be a perfect fit. Since they keep adding more characters for us to team up with or something, one yeah. idea I had, one idea Mario had, <laughs> was that we, <laughs> is that, is that Mar Mario and Luigi, Mario and Luigi all work together, solve puzzles. That'd be interesting. I'm not sure how that would work I without mean, being in. They'll be in it for treasure. I wonder how that would work though without feeling like a mess. Have them piggyback yes. right off each other like in partners in time. Oh god, that would look so awkward! <laughs> Mario, get <laughs> off me! <laughs> no! Like just... no, 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 It'd be like in uh, Mario Super Str It'd be in Mario Super Strike, where like one of the one of those things where his teammates were like tossing him. Keep throwing me. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, RPGs and stuff, though, if they do an Odyssey 2, which I think is just inevitable at this point, uh, one thing I'd like to see them do is go to kingdoms <laughs> from like RPGs and stuff. Like, I would love to go to like the Bean Bean, Bean Kingdom and see that place in like full 3D kind of style. You know, that would require EPD to actually give a darn about anything they didn't create. Yeah. Like, Here's... They have to be dragged, kicking and screaming to keep all Luigi around sometimes. Yeah. The person that Luigi stood in was an assist trophy. Yeah. Actually, here's a question. Uh, for a potential Odyssey 2, what kind of kingdoms would you like to say? Cross the land, goodness gracious, please. Yeah, yeah I, I will. I just want to see, like, area, like areas from the Mario series that uh, either aren't well-known or haven't had 3D counterparts. So, like, Sarasa Land and Bean Bean are both... Oh, man, Tatanga needs some more time to breathe. I would say Rogue yeah, Paw... not be breathing at all, but you don't dust them off. Yeah, I would say rogue poor, but Back. but uh, I feel like a lot of that charm is because of the paper aesthetic, so I think you can leave that. By the way, I'm a serious question. I'm going to draw in the character for a moment. Are we? Do you, you think we should? Do, do you want? Do you want to call it when we get to the fort? Because it's pretty late. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to uh. Harry. Call, call it. Call, call it. Call it at the fort, or do you want to call it now? Uh, we can. Try and get to the floor, I guess. 